Hi Sushi, it's I'm Kitty from Zushi and I'm going to show you how to draw a cartoon stormtrooper done in a Zushi style. This is dedicated to my brother Tony who is a massive Star Wars fan. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So first up what we do is we draw an oval. Like that and then we draw a smaller oval just underneath. that and then a teardrop shape for the leg another teardrop shape for the leg like that and then we draw a circle or an oval for the foot and another oval for the foot like that Then we just draw a slightly curved line, kind of just above halfway of the oval, our first oval. And then another one. Like that, just lift that side. Like that, and then just do a little curved line on the edges just to make it look like a little band. And then we draw another curved line out like that and bring that down. Basically, you're just top, touching the top of that second oval here. And then out the side. Like that. Then just in the middle, I'm going to find the middle by drawing a line down for a guide. Just going to bring kind of a rounded line up, just curve off the edges like that. I'm going to do the same just down here, just bring that out just slightly further so that it's kind of almost like an angle coming down here, and then come back in and under first oval then again here just so those half circles are slightly angled out and bring it around like that and then we're just going to round it off and up slightly there as well like that then another rounded line out and just bring that one up slightly like that and again here just kind of round it out and bring that up slightly like that then just for the eyes I'm going to bring almost like a teardrop shape Again here, just trying to make it the same size. We we'll just take a, a line around and up, and back down like that. I think this one needs to come down a little bit more. As well, then just add a little bit of detail to it. We just put a little bit of a rectangle there, and there, and then on here as well. Rectangle there, rectangle there, and across this piece, just do a rounded line. a bit of detail like that and 
and then we're just going to square off the top of the head slightly so just make that slightly less curved like that and then on this side as well Just add some detail to um, this, the bottom of this mask. So bring a curved line around into another curved shape like that, and then down like that. And just with this bit here, we take the line across and then just do a couple of lines down like that. And then here, take an oval shape, and another oval shape, and then a little oval in the middle, and then again on the side, an oval shape, oval shape, and then a little oval in the middle there. And just take another line up and around like that, just to give that a little bit more detail. Then along here, we're just going to do like little rounded rectangles, I guess. Just for some detailing there. And again on the side. Like that. Let's take that out a little bit further. And then for the body, just bring a little line down and across. Just take that oval up slightly there, so this is kind of giving him like an armhole for his uniform. And then again on the side, and then just take that line across there, and then a couple of lines up on an angle like that, and then a couple of lines up on an angle like that. Let me come down. And curve that up along the middle, like that. Then we bring a line down and curve that across and up. And we're just going to add some lines down like this across that middle. Going to take a curved line down here and across and up again like that, and then just thicken up those legs at the top, and at the top of these legs, we're going to do like a little arrow shape, an arrow line like that, just to show the tops of the white part of his uniform. Then on this leg we do a rectangle across there and then put some little lines down it. And then another kind of almost triangular shape like that. And it comes down across the bottom here. And it's got some boots going up underneath so we do a little almost rectangle with a little triangle in there for the sole of the shoe, like that. And then for this one, take that line up and across, and down, and again there as well, and just make a little shape in there, bring that down, take it across the bottom, Bring a kind of rectangle shape down and a triangle for the sole of the shoe, and then up and across. And then, oops, don't want that line there, want that line there, <laughs> and this line here. So forget about that one, we just want this bit, that bit. And we take that up into there as well.
And for his arms, I'm just going to do like the teardrop shape as well for one arm, like that, and then start this side. costume coming down it's like a so, uh, shoulder guard I'm going to go into a bit of a rectangle shape there and then into another kind of rectangle shape there and we draw a little half circle for his thumb and a bit of a rectangle shape for the protector on his hand and we'll put another one there as well and then line across and a little half circle for a thumb. Then again we have that kind of shoulder protection coming out and down like that and then a rectangle like that and then another rectangle like that. With this as well we'll just do some of those little rounded rectangle shapes again, just put four in there, four in there, just for some detail. Then we just grab our black pens and go back in and ink in the pencil lines.
we just go back in and double up the thickness of the main parts of the illustration to make it look even more cartoony. Then we just wait for the ink to dry. We just go back in and rub out the pencil lines. So 
So there you have it, a cartoon stormtrooper done in Nazushi style. Happy drawing!